Another process is called an isothermal process. Iso again meaning same and thermal meaning temperature. So let's take a look at our ideal gas law. My temperature is not changing, so this whole thing is a constant. So if I want to look at my PV graph now, if I've got P and V, oh man, so I need uh, P and V, so let's move this around. So P is now going to be changing. This is going to be 1 over V and RT. Actually, I should probably write this NRT times 1 over V. So there's my constant, and then there's my, oh, look at that. It's a logarithmic. So from PV equals NRT, my temperature is not changing. So P times V, so I'll actually, let's, so I'll start up here and then go to a 2P, 2 times P naught, V naught. To, it's going to get me to here. So these two places are at the same temperature. But to get from one to the other, it's got to be one over V. So it's got to be this curve that looks like that. So now, if my temperature is not changing, so I have no delta T. So everything along here is the same T. So if I, if I extend this curve, this is what's known as an isotherm. Everything along this dotted line and along that black line is at the same temperature. So if you remember before, delta U is 3 halves NR delta T. So if delta T is not changing, then delta U equals 0. So the change in internal energy is 0. But change in internal energy is also Q plus W. If delta U is 0, 0 equals Q plus W, which means negative work is equal to Q. So the any amount of work that's done, or any amount of heat that comes in has to come out as work, or any amount of work that has to come out as heat. That kind of thing. The change in energy has to be the same. Well, how much work is done? Well, it's the area under the curve. What does that look like? So if we have our curve here, P equals on it, so P equals NRT over 1 over V. I want to find out what the, I want to take the area under here, so let's take the integral of this thing. DV. So I want to go from V final to V initial. Oh, so what do we end up with? Oh, I got 1 over NRT, the integral of 1 over V dV. So this turns into and RT, the log, the natural log of V final over V initial, V final over V initial. This tells me how much work is done. And there should be a negative sign floating around in there because we've got, so P work is P negative T. So once we can, we can calculate how much work there is and that'll tell us how much heat is moved as well.